Yes, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to diagonalize and troubleshoot processor power supply chip. So this is a Dell 5420. This is the cover. I've already disassembled it. Now this Dell, when you put in the charger, you see the light turns on, which shows that it has recognized the charger. And when you try to turn it on, the power button light turns on, and even the light for trying to power on turns on, but the fan does not spin, and then goes off. Now what I have done, I've checked most of the voltages. So when you turn it on and you measure, you see that you have 5 volts. We have 3.3. We have the RAM volts. For the CPU, the volts does not turn up. Because this is a, a three-phase CPU, but all the coils, the voltage does not show up. For the chipset, you see that the voltage turns up. And this is another CPU coil. Still volts does not turn up. So the charging still does not turn up basically because battery is not plugged in so when i flip the motherboard you can see that even 1.8 is present so it looks like this motherboard cannot continue to boot up because the cpu voltage is not turning up so after i measured the voltage i was suspecting that this motherboard might have a bios issue so what i did i reprogrammed the bios but still the laptop was not turning on now the challenge i tried to look for the schematics and i couldn't find it so I came here because this is the chip that makes the voltage for the CPU. So I searched the internet and I was able to find the data sheet. Now let me show you here on the laptop. So here you can see all the pins. I was trying to measure for the voltage because this chip must be able to turn on. If it has voltage on the VCC, it has the enable signal, it has the data instruction or the data communication. And this one for the thermal should not be low basically to indicate that the CPU is not so hot. When I measured here on pin 46, which it should have at least 5 volts, I was getting 2 point something volts. And you can see from the schematics, this is connected from pin 46, and 46 comes from here and connects to this capacitor here. So when I connected the charger and turned on the motherboard, and when I measured here to see if we have the VCC, the VCC voltage was 2.9. Uh, this voltage is meant to be around 5 volts, but I was getting 2.9. And when I look at the schematics here, on pin 47, which should be the enable, I wasn't getting any voltage on the enable. So even when I turn on the motherboard, I wasn't getting any voltage. So when I measured the power for the internal regulators of this chip, pin 14, pin 25, pin 34, because this is a three phase chip, so all those three phases should have their power supply for those internal regulators. So when I measured here, this should be pin 14, I still get 2.6. So this should have at least 5 volts. When I measured on pin 24, still I was getting 2.6. So when I measured here, this is pin 34, I was still getting 2.6. So all the power that turns on the internal regulators and the power that turns on this chip was dropped to almost a half. Now what I suspected was that the CPU was short. So I disconnected the CPU, still I get 2.6 volts. So that's when I knew that the problem is not on the CPU. So what I did the next, I put my multimeter in continuity mode and I tried to measure to see if there is a shot on this power supply and good enough, all of this CPU power supply had no shot. So what I did the next, I measured the pinouts of this power supply chip in continuity mode. When I start from pin 1, see it looks like I have a shot on pin 5. So when I take a look here at the data sheet, pin 5 shows is ground, which is fine. So this is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it looks like 17 also has a shot. So when I look in the data sheet here, you see pin 17 is meant to be connected to ground, which is fine. So 18, so 19 has a shot and 20. So when I look here, pin 19 is called VDD. VDD should not have a shot. This is the VCC for the internal regulator and pin 20 is meant to be connected to ground. So when I went ahead and measured pin 21, 22, 23, 24, no short, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, I have a short. So when I check in the data sheet here, 29 should not have a short because this is a VDD for the internal regulator. So even pin 30 has a short. So pin 30 is connected to ground, it's called peak ground A, which is fine. So 31, 32, 33 no short, 34 no short, 35 no short, 36 no short, 37 
no shoot 38 no shoot 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 now 46 has a shot if i look at the data sheet here 46 is the vcc should not have shot 47 no shot 48 no shot now you see all the vdd pins are all shot to ground and this explains why instead of having five volts we are having 2.6 so what i'm going to do i'm going to disorder this chip and then replace with another chip So the chip is out. So since the chip is out, let's try to measure and see if we still have a shot on the other pins. So let's check on, on this pin where we have been measuring. So we don't have a shot here. This is pin 46. No shot. Yeah, we had a shot on pin 14. 12, 13, 14. We don't have a shot. We also had a shot on pin 19. 19, no shot. 34, we don't have a shot. So it looks like the shot was inside the chip. So since we have ruled out that a shot is inside the chip, let's look for another chip and then replace it here. 